Hello everyone, my name is Michael Poveromo and we're here at the James E. Anderson water plant and right now we're in the control room. Uh, here is our system SCADA. Uh, through these three screens we can see everything that's happening in the plant. Um, we control one repump station out at range line. Um, we can see everything that's going on remotely there and like I said everything here, pH, chlorine, pressure, flow, um, pretty much every little thing that you can monitor, we monitor in real time. Um, next I'll show you the process area. We have the process area, the blend basin, and uh, some chemical rooms, and I'll take you out there in a little bit. All right, here we are in the process area. Um, behind me you'll see the micron canisters. Those feed the skids. These are the blend micron canisters. The water coming into the plant, first we put it through the canisters behind me. Inside those canisters are about 200 filters that look like this, made out of yarn. It helps take out the sand and the silt before that water goes into the skids. Uh, we have 10 skids, each produces about 2 million gallons a day. We supply the water into these, uh, we push it through membranes. Uh, these membranes are our reverse osmosis membranes. We have to supply a lot of pressure to get the rest of the uh, total dissolved solids out of the water. We can't put raw water straight into these membranes because you'll clog up these membranes pretty quick. So we pre-filter it with those, gets put into the skids with this. Now this removes uh, a lot of the total dissolved solids in the water. It removes so much that we actually have to blend water back into it to add mineral content back into the water, which is what these three smaller micron canisters are for. Now we're out here by the blend basin and you can see the stacks behind me. The first row of stacks are degasifiers. What we do is um, you basically have the water falling down into troughs kind of spread the water around, create more surface area, have the blowers pump air up, and it's air stripping. Uh, it'll take the rotten egg smell out, and then after that, the water falls down into the blend basin. It goes through channels. Now we're out by the, uh, the back of the blend basin. Um, as you can see behind me, the blue pipes are our transfer pumps. After all the chemicals and water has time to mix and disinfect, the transfer pumps will pump out the water into our ground storage tanks. Uh, we have two ground storage tanks on site. Each one is four million gallons. Um, as the water is in the storage tanks, just waiting to be pumped out, we use our high service pumps to pump the water out at our point of entry, which is at which point the water goes into the distribution system for everyone to use. So behind me you can see the two tanks, we have our transfer pumps, and you also get a little sneak peek at the uh, odor control system I was telling you about earlier. You couldn't really see those in front of the degas uh, stacks. Uh, afterwards I'll go ahead and show you some of the water quality tests that we run. We want to make sure that the water that you get is high quality and is within range of uh, the DEP standards that they have us operate by. Located right behind us is the deep injection well. When you do reverse osmosis there's only an 80 percent recovery rate which means every 10 million gallons we uh, clean about 2 million gallons of those uh, are concentrate water and the concentrate water get sent from the skids all the way back to the deep injection well and it gets sent back down to the aquifer to be cleaned naturally over time. Here we are in the lab. Um, this is where we run all of our, our tests and analysis. Uh, we want to make sure that the water that we're pumping out is of the highest quality and within range uh, of what DEP requires us. Um, so we run pH, this probe to my right, and to my left is where we run all the titrations for the chlorine. Uh, we run three analysis a day to check the pH, chlorine, um, hardness, TDS, a very general overview of the water uh, that we're pumping out, and we keep tabs on it. Uh, not only testing the POE water, which is the water that's going out into the distribution system, but the water at different stages in the plant will check uh, the water going into the skids, make sure the pH is okay, check the blend base and make sure that the chlorine has the right residual, and all that's done in here and any more complex testing is done at the lab that we have on site. So that's the basis of the process, and getting the water from the aquifer to your faucet safely and with the best quality that we can provide. Uh, thank you for, for joining me on the tour and hope you enjoy. It.